Welcome. This is the She Code Africa Contributhon Screenshot Updates Project. It is the 9th of May. Today, our topic is let's take a screenshot for the Subversion plugin in a pipeline help page or in a pipeline page, uh, pipeline library page, right? So, if I remember correctly, I'm going to bring up the page that that you had highlighted to us. So here we go. This one is the page and it's in this pipeline shared libraries page. What we see as we scroll down is there is a, let's see, where is it? No, it's not in, ah, here we go. This one, legacy SCM. And so what Soma was trying to do is how does she get this screenshot um, it's specifically describing legacy and SCM, where a legacy SCM is something that's very old. And one good way to do that is by using subversion, people realize, oh, this is not a very frequently used thing and they should not prefer it. So Soma suggested, hey, she could just do it with Git. And my preference was let's keep it with subversion because it, it gives the message to the reader, this is not the default. This should not be your first choice or your typical thing to do. So I'm going to start a new Jenkins environment just to... All right, so let's do Java. Java minus jar. Oops. Jenkins underscore home equals screenshot so that directory java minus jar and we are, i think it's okay if i use 345 i've got it convenient locally we would usually prefer 346 but in this case i don't think there are any changes in this area between the two so let's run that and now i'm going to connect to this and i'll need to oh whoops docker ps i have to stop other things that are running Okay, now I'm going to run it. So it's going to come up and prompt me, say, hey, here's the password for the initial setup. So I'm going to connect there. And I could have been doing this entirely on my own computer. In this case, I'm using a mix of computers just because it's easier for me. So it says, hey, what's that administrator password? I paste it. And now for, for I'm going to go with install suggested plugins. It'll take a little bit of time to do the installation. But if I remember right, that may actually include the subversion plugin. And if it doesn't, we will add the subversion plugin once it's finished. So we'll let this keep going. So what this page is illustrating, it says, hey, this magic string right here, this library dot your library name here dot version is being inserted there. And so it's important that the example we create must have that inside the text. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna go grab download 2.346 in case we need to switch to it. All right, so sorry to make you watch me do all these things, but it's it's just easier for me if I can grab them while we're waiting. 2.346, there's the war file. Okay, and I'm just gonna download that. Okay, so we've now got it just in case there really is a difference. All right, so I need to be a registered user here with a useful password and a login name. Okay, that's the computer. Here we go. 
Now let's first check to see, did I get the subversion plugin installed? So installed, subversion, subversion, I did not. Okay, so step one is I have to install the subversion plugin. Okay, so there it is. And now download and restart and we'll watch and see here it says, hey, it, it installed one other plugin as needed and now I'm going to restart it. So it'll take a moment for it to do its restart. Since it's, I'm having to restart it, I can actually switch and use 346. Oh, sorry for the sound of the dog. They're just going to have to deal with that. My apologies for the noisiness. So I'm instead starting 346 and here it goes and we should see it. Here it is ready for me to log in with my username and password. Okay, so I'm logged in. Now we want to create a sh pipeline shared library using legacy SCM. And so for that, I need to go to manage, oh, so sorry for the dog background, manage Jenkins. And now somewhere here is the thing that lets, oh, configure system. And now pipeline, I think it's called pipeline, speed and durability, global pipeline libraries. Okay, so here we are, I'm going to add the pipeline library. And in the example they're using, they're calling it my-share-library. with the default version being stable. Okay, stable. And allow default version to be overridden. Okay, include, and notice it's even missing some options. Okay, so updating the screenshot is really good. Yeah. All right, so so I, I would even like to do cache fetched versions on the controller. What do you think, Soma? Would it be okay if I included, I really like this feature, but maybe I should leave it unchecked for now. It would be okay, you know, so that um, everyone could see. Okay, well, so let's, let's do it then. And let's give it the refresh time in minutes of 37, a nice prime number. Okay, so, so now, and no versions to exclude. And I'm going to switch on legacy SCM. And here is the choice for subversion. Okay. And now I've got to get that repository URL. And that's that's a horrible, awful, terrible thing. Let's try svn colon slash slash svn.example.com. Svn colon slash slash svn.example.com slash pipeline dash library slash branches. I think I could get you the, let me just um, paste it, would that work? If I oh, oh, that would be wonderful. If you could just paste it in the chat, that would be a great help. Then I don't have to, then I don't have to retype it. Thank you. That would be exceptional. Oh, okay. working in it now. Okay, well, and maybe maybe it's in the text somewhere. Nope, it's not in the text anywhere. So yeah, if you can paste it, if you've already got it, that would be a great help. Yeah. Excellent, you see? thank you. I've got it. And notice how fast I type that. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, and it says parameterized syntax validation skipped local module directory dot recursion depth infinity ignore externals cancel process on externals fail which is not there okay so we have we have the right settings now we need the right screen size open image in a new tab how big is that save image as that let's go look to see how large it is downloads properties. 
properties. And in the details, it says it's 900 pixels wide. So if I make it roughly a thousand pixels wide, that won't be too bad. So I need my little sizer application running. Oh, sizer is already running. Okay, so just a moment. Come on, sizer. I have to find the right location to hover over it. Come on. There we go. One K. So if we do one, what do you think of that as a screen width? Does that look okay? Yeah, it does. Okay. So now, now I have to use the, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use my screenshot utility to take the picture. We'll see if it works. Because this is a mammoth page and we'll, we'll yeah. crop it to get rid of all the extra things that we don't need in it. Okay, crop. So we don't need this part or this part. Or this part, or this part. Did I say that this is a huge page? Yes, I did. Okay, here we go. Global pipeline libraries, right? And now if we do the same thing from the lower part. Okay. Okay, and so I think, I think we've got, oh no, I can go up even further because they stopped their screenshot. Where did they stop their, they stopped their screenshot even at ignore externals. So I can probably do the same. Like I could at least stop right there. What do you think of that as a place to stop the screenshot? It's still much larger than the old one, but. It's okay. Yeah, so let's call that done cropping. There we go. Oh, oh, wait a sec. But we probably notice that they also crop to the left edge. So I should probably do one more crop, which is, whoops, why did it? Ah, I just lost all my cropping. That's a shame. Why did it do that? There it is. So. I really, though, want to download that image. There was one more change I want to make to that image. So I'm going to have to use a different editor to open with paint because I want to crop from here. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, crop from here to there. Save. All right, now if we look at it, it's at least a, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's definitely an accurate screenshot. It's just there's an awful lot of screen. What do you think, Soma? Do we go with that? I'm worried that this may be more, more having put the cache thing in, maybe more noise than we want. Well, let me save it, and I'll 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 email it to you. So, I'm, oh, actually, I'll paste it into the Slack room, is that okay? That way you've, you've got it available if you decide you'd like to use it. And if not, you've at least got um, steps 
that'll be in the recording to show you how, how I did it. Yeah, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay, so I pasted the screenshot. And as large as it is, you could edit it if you need to, modify it, etc. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So do you have other questions that you'd like us to discuss after the screenshot one? Let's see, we may, may want to talk about timeline, right? I don't, I've got to check to see where we're at in the timeline of the project. I think we may be very near the end. So Africa timeline. Okay, contribute on. Okay, here we go. So we go through, we go to Thursday to Tuesday, 31 of May, but I think aren't the last two weeks the wrap-up period where you write the report, etc. Where is oh timeline? Here we go. Good. Okay, timeline. So we've got. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we've only got to the 16th. Okay. So so or we've got till the 17th, or the 15th. So, so you start your, your final report writing the 16th of May. So we've got about another week. Okay. And then uh, another week to work on the project, to work on screenshot updates. And then they give you two weeks where you write your project report and what you'll share with them is things that, things that went okay. Things that didn't go okay, and we should improve next year when we do this again. That kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Um, I did have one question, Mark. Yes. So after the project, can I keep contributing? Uh, we would love it if you did. Absolutely, we would be thrilled if you would continue contributing. Oh, because because I would love to. Yeah, we would we would be truly delighted. That would be a great a great positive result. We understand for many of the contributors that they've got to continue their education. They've got more things they've got to do. They just don't have time or capacity to keep contributing, but we would love to have you continue contributing. And we're happy to do separate sessions or have you join documentation office hours. What, whatever works for you, if there are questions you have, happy to answer questions on Slack, all those things. Okay, that would be nice, thank you. Yes, yeah, so, and then, so May 16 through, through 31, write the final report, write, Soma writes the final, her final report, Mark and mentors write theirs, et cetera. And we'll do a final blog post to highlight, highlight accomplishments and identify next steps. Great. Any other questions? No, not really. Great, all right. Well, so we've got one more week to go. This is, Soma, thank you very much for doing this. Really, truly, I am, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of just, if, even if all we had done was the sheet that identified which things need updates, I would have already been satisfied because it's a lot of work to go through all these pages and identify which ones need changing. The fact that you've submitted poll requests is really wonderful. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, well then let's go ahead and I think we can call this session done unless, are there more questions that you've got, Soma? No, no questions, no. All right, so I will, I will try to get an arc, a record, the recording archived. I apologize, the recording will include the sound of the dogs barking. I'm really sorry about that. That's just the way it goes. No Aditya, anything else from you? No, Mark. Okay, thanks to both of you. Have a great evening. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye.